The news at noon is brought to you by Owensboro Health. Get care from Owensboro Health's pulmonology and sleep medicine team locations in Owensboro and Madisonville. Visit owensborohealth.org today. Your tri-state weather today, sunny, cooler, and less humid with a high of 73, clear and colder tonight, low of 46, and on Tuesday, sunny skies with a high of 75. The 103rd Westside Nut Club Fall Festival is officially off and running. Half-pot sales got going at 10 o'clock at the booth at Dot West Franklin Street. For those not faint of heart, the midway rides will crank up at 2 p.m., Wristbands are available for purchase. A fan favorite, the Lighthouse Parade, steps off at 7 p.m. And at 8 p.m., the first night of amateur hour begins. This morning, President Biden orders more boots on the ground in hard-hit regions from Helene as the communities continue to seek out all the help they so desperately need. ABC's Gio Benitez is in Asheville, North Carolina with more. President Biden ordering 500 additional active duty troops to North Carolina to help in Helene's massive recovery and response. It's like having a lifeline. Um, so, so to have the type of people that are landing here, the National Guard, when I saw them, I did want to just cry. In Hot Springs near the Tennessee border, medical supplies dropped to a school serving as a shelter. Another hurricane has Florida's coast in its crosshairs this week. ABC's Andrew Dimebird reports. Milton is expected to make landfall Wednesday, potentially hitting the Tampa Bay area as a Category 3 storm with winds up to 129 miles per hour and remaining a hurricane as it moves across central Florida. More than a foot of rain could fall in addition to rain already falling from a separate storm system. Voluntary evacuations already underway. The entire Florida peninsula on the Gulf on the Gulf side has the potential uh, to have major impacts. It comes after Hurricane Helene made landfall south of Tallahassee just 11 days ago. Milton is now a Category 4 hurricane, a very dangerous storm. One person has died in a motorcycle versus deer accident on Highway 41A in Henderson. The call came in shortly before 7 p.m. Sunday. Several agencies responded to the call. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene. The victim's name was not immediately available. The Gibson County Sheriff's Office confirms that 42-year-old Daniel Flaherty was arrested and charged with his wife's murder. 36-year-old Kayla Flaherty was reported missing Thursday night by her husband. The next day, her body was found just off Wabash River Road in Knox County. Multiple law enforcement agencies worked nearly around the clock on this investigation. It's the first Monday in October. ABC's Jay O'Brien reports the nation's high court is back in session. The Supreme Court gets back in action today. The justices returning to the bench to hear a new slate of cases that tackle everything from transgender care, so-called ghost guns, and even adult-themed websites. This term is expected to be a little quieter, perhaps, than in the past, more of your traditional Supreme Court decisions. But don't forget, this is a court that just in the last few years, with a 6-3 conservative majority, has eliminated Roe v. Wade, upended things like affirmative action, and ruled presidents have some immunity from criminal prosecution. An Evansville man accused of a violent knife attack faces trial starting today. Remnell Boyd was arrested last December in connection with the attack that left the victim with multiple stab wounds. Authorities believe Bird recorded the stabbing on his cell phone. Jury selection was set to begin at 8 o'clock this morning. Evansville police detectives are looking into a shooting that happened about 1 a.m. Sunday. The shooting took place in the 1300 block of Covert Avenue. Officers were sent to an address on Henning Avenue for a gunshot victim. That victim was taken to the hospital for treatment. Details of the shooting and the condition of the victim were not available. No arrests have been made. All eyes on the Vatican as the Pope names new cardinals. They'll join the group that will one day elect his successor. More from ABC's Tom Rivers. Mindful that Francis turns 88 in December and he's had health issues in recent years. His move of naming 21 new cardinals significantly increases the size of the body that will determine who will follow him. 
It's the biggest infusion of voting age cardinals into the college in his 11-year time as head of the Catholic Church. Among the new appointees, none from the U.S. A father and son pair were lodged in the Vandenberg County Jail over the weekend. Evansville police were called to a building on Tennessee Street a little before 3 a.m. Saturday. A security company tipped off officers after seeing two suspects on cameras going into a secured, gated lot. Arriving officers detained 20-year-old Cameron Gibson, Philip Gibson, Cameron's father, then surrendered himself. Both were charged with burglary. Evansville police field a drug complaint and arrest a 54-year-old man. It happened a little before 6 p.m. Saturday night. Police were called to the 1300 block of Covert Avenue where the 911 caller reported a man in a wheelchair was smoking K2. The caller said the man identified as Darren T. Field showed him his stash. Arriving officers found Field acting erratically and trying to hide a green bag of synthetic cannabis. Field was jailed on dealing charges. You're listening to the News at Noon on 104 FM WIKY.